Welcome back to Brick and Jake Make, where I'm not Brooke. And I'm not Jake. Today we're going to be taking an older coffee table and bringing it up to the new generation. Yeah. I've had this coffee table in my family for a lot, a lot, a lot of years. Longer than me. <laughs> it's got some black slats in it that are older. It's got a bunch of stains on it. They're, they have a bunch of stains on them it's now. It's seen a lot of time it's and definitely age. It's seen, seen some time and age. <laughs> so it's time to update it with present. Present. Resin everything. Resin everything. Yeah. Resin always. Uh, it's gonna be a galaxy is the one thing that I've heard. Yeah. And I think the other two are gonna be kind of like a paint spatter type thing. And we'll use some toothbrushes. I like it. Yeah. I, I was wondering what the toothbrushes were for. <laughs> so let's get started. Yeah, let's go. So we measured each of the slats and they are all roughly the same size, about 14 inches by 14 inches. But they differ just enough just to where they're not all going to fit. Perfectly, they all... we're going to end up having to do some yeah. trimming. So we're going to make our mold slightly bigger and make them 15 by 15 boxes. And then we'll cut our resin down when we get to that point. So enjoy this montage. Yeah. All right, so we are now set up, as you can tell, for the resin pour. Although you can't see anything <laughs> because we have our spatter walls up so yeah. that when we're playing with the toothbrushes, we don't get it all over the floor and everything else. Yeah. We think we've formulated a plan. We touched up the silicone. It's looking good. The, ish. Yeah, the ish part means we also went all the way back around them again with a second thing of hot glue. Yeah. Hopefully it's not too hard to pull apart in the end. Yeah, I'm not sure on that one. But our plan here is we're gonna do a double batch. And we're gonna pour both whites. Yes. And then all those colors. And all those colors. Colors. All those colors. And we're gonna get to spattering with some toothbrushes. Yes. I will take the green brush. Yeah. I'm gonna start with purple because that's my favorite color. <laughs> I'm just gonna dip it in, kind of like that, and get the tops. I'm gonna dip the whole thing. I yeah, my mind. that's what I was gonna do. Just dip the whole thing in. It's gonna ruin the rest of the colors though, slightly. Oh, we didn't think about that. Oh well. All right, and then. And then just flip. Uh, okay, I guess that's not working. Maybe I didn't get enough. What if we like maybe take a spoon and like flick or something? There you go, yeah! Yeah, that's awesome. This is really, really fun. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like an artiste. <laughs> All right. All right, you should throw some more colors in there. Agreed. I want to get this bug out of it though, so. There you go. Oh my gosh, it looks so cool. New color, who this? This is orange. Sorry, purple, you have been tainted. Or no, sorry, orange, you have been tainted. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. This looks so cool. That gives me more of the dot effect. Yeah. Not as big of a fan as the orange, so I think that's it for me yeah, for orange. Yeah, that's totally good. You're gonna be more of like a purple and green type person. That's my next color. Uh-huh. Get that green in there. Ooh, that green's ugly. <laughs> that green's snotty. Uh. Okay, maybe, maybe not that much green. 
I thought it was gonna be better. Maybe I should have chosen the emerald instead of the chartreuse. Yes, absolutely. Dang we, it. we need a dark, dark green. Yeah. That's okay. It's okay. I got secretly sabotaged, <laughs> just saying. Look at that! Look at that blue! Oh my gosh, that looks so good! That means pan to the blue! That means pan to the blue! What is pan to the blue? I don't pan. know. Pan. Oh, pan to the blue. I was like, what is panda? Oh my gosh, it looks so cool! All right, I've completely changed my mind. Blue is definitely blue my is favorite. the best color. Um, one this thing looks I'm, like so much fun, I can't wait to do mine. One thing I'm a little scared of... I'm afraid it's gonna like is, level out too much when it settles. No, I'm a... Oh, oh, oh no! That didn't happen. It, it didn't happen! <laughs> there's, there's nothing to see here. <laughs> Um, I'm gonna do pink and then I'm not even putting yellow in mine. Oh, okay. I'll put yellow in mine then. Bam, bam, bam. Oh, blue and pink make purple. Oh, yeah. Whoopsie! So maybe I should start I'm with adjust. pink first. This looks so cool. And then I'm gonna put a secret smiley face in there. Yeah. And by secret, I mean I'm going to make it super obvious by doing this. Boop. Big old cheeks. And then two eyes. Oh, look at that. Done. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. All right, degloving and you're up. I love it. A few moments later. Here we go, here we go. Nothing's coming. I was like, you got two <laughs> dots. Two dots, there come on. <laughs> How'd you do this? What are you doing? I don't know what I'm doing. You just fling it. <laughs> just not on me. Let me go back <laughs> over here. Nothing's <laughs> It's flinging the wrong direction. Okay, I'm gonna go for a different color. You're going for drizzle? Oh. I was like, mine ended up being more of a drizzle. You're getting yeah, well, awesome dots though. though. I want to get the flinging thing down, but it's not working. You're not flinging though. You're like a boop, Because if I fling, it just goes backwards. Boop, boop. Like, so pull it, hold on, pull it back. And then bam, bam. That thing's coming off. All right, uh, let's do some orange. Next color. Orange, orange, orange. Swizzle. Oh yeah, look at that. What the heck is swizzle? <laughs> what the <laughs> heck is swizzle? <laughs> I don't know, look at that, look at that. Okay, should I do, I'll do the purple next, I guess. Okay, here we go, more swizzle. Circle swizzles. All right, insert like heavy music, metal <laughs> music here for the... <laughs> this is what happens when Brooke tries to spatter. I'm more of like a drizzle artiste with chocolate rather than a... <laughs> I mean, I don't think I successfully got the, uh, what would you call that? The spat Wait, I effect either. Why am I doing orange again? You, you like the orange more than me. <laughs> I say you just dump the yellow corner in. Do it. This is your design, your artiste. Beautiful oh my gosh, blue. these look so cool! The blue is so pretty. Top, hands down, the blue is my favorite. Yeah, the blue is the best color. Like there is no beating that, that color. The saturation, I guess. Right? Oh, I want to keep doing more. Because it just pops so much more. But we have to I come up. I think I have to stop though. We have I don't to... want my Jenna marbles too much. We... we have to figure out a plan for the galaxy before we do that. Yeah. Because a galaxy does not look like this. No. Galaxies look like dots. A few moments later. So we formulated a plan very, very quickly because we're impatient. 
And basically, we're gonna go the complete opposite route and instead use alcohol links and use glitters after dyeing the whole thing black. With that though, we're also gonna try something that we've never done, because we have done alcohol inks on resin before, mm -hmm. so we have a good idea of what's gonna happen. But what we've never tried is just dusting it without mixing or kind of just tapping it on. Yeah, just sprinkling the dust on. Kind of so. like you would like with sprinkling glitter on top. Yeah, Brooke's favorite part. <laughs> oh yeah. Alright, purple glitter. Alright, this is gonna be a lot of glitter. <laughs> Okay, I like the way that's looking. Mm -hmm. Of their final look out of their molds. We'll see how they look. I'm excited to see how the underside turns out. Where are we starting? Let's try on this one. Dun, dun, dun. And. Bam! Popsicle stick! <laughs> so, this is by far my favorite. Yeah. I love the like vein that like was created in it. Right, the fact that it streaked through but then mm -hmm. came back, which it's a little weird how you'll see in the other ones that they all kind of like came they back. Just converged in the center. We don't know if it's the resin we're using, right. if it was the wrong temperature when we did it. We checked and the shop should have been at the right temp, but I don't know. I don't know. So on to the next one. Yep. Next, both, I guess. Cause I'll blocks. just show the one. Okay. And whoop. This is Jacob's little fun one. This is my fun one. I have not very many bright colors going through it, yeah. but I have some really cool, really cool. Yeah, I have some really cool like pull effects yeah. that go through it. And number three. Oh. Da -ding! So this one went sideways. Yeah. Like all the others converged to the middle, and yours went sideways. Also, side note. Brooke mentioned it. We forgot to pull the popsicle sticks out. And um, so now we'll just cut those off when we go to clean up the edge to our final Our width. final width and, and length. Width and length. Yeah, so. time to do that. Did you say time to do that? Yeah. <laughs> Not quite, let's demold if we can. So generally we're gonna just go for it? I think so, just whack it. <laughs> so afraid. So maybe this is why people use mold release? Oh no! Oh no, you're getting it. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So that one's a little too big. So this one is also a little too big. And this one <laughs> is too small and too big. It's too small and too big with a very large fur.
All right, so welcome to our backyard, and it looks like we're gonna be redoing some things. So we love how at least this one turned out. Yeah. We're okay with how these both <laughs> turned out. The colors are good. The colors on this are gorgeous. Oh, yeah, it's so pretty. But because we're making them thin, they just, they're not rigid enough. They hold that flexibility, Pickles. right? They hold, they don't, they with. They're super flexible and they bend in the center because there's no support in the middle of the squares of the coffee table. Which just isn't going to work for yeah. what we need and want. Yes. So we've come up with a new solution, mm -hmm. which is reusing and repurposing the tiles, the original tiles, the original tiles and just kind of giving them a fresh coat of spray paint yeah. and making them look a bit nicer, bringing them up to age. and going from there. Yeah. I think that's yeah, it. Yeah, so, yeah, 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 yeah. We already did a test piece, as you can see, and we liked how it turned out. We're gonna go ahead and coat it over because we did a couple different tests on it, so there's a lot going on in here that you probably can't tell on camera. Um, we're gonna go ahead and coat it over with a fresh new cover coat and add some more stuff to it. Let's get into it. Yeah. So there you have it. There's not much to it. We kind of, you know, made some mistakes, but fixed it to something that I think we like for a little while. Mm -hmm. A little bit. We're definitely going to change it again, but mm -hmm. for now. For now, this is it until we can find a better solution. Yeah. And I smile every day I've come come into the living room and uh, seen it. So yeah. that's and something. It's pretty good. Yeah. Pretty happy with it. It's cute. Simple. So yeah. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed this video of us making lots of mistakes and if you want to see some better cooler stuff coming up go ahead and click that notification bell because mm -hmm. and make sure we have, to subscribe because we have a big build coming up too yeah bye bye